everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm going to be showing you how to make a really quick and easy piece of home decor. So this is going to be going in my craft room and you would have seen the pictures at the beginning of this video. But I wanted to just quickly show you first how this has all come about. So Louise at Thompson's Craft Supplies kindly sent me a Lucky Dip. So she has an option on her website where you can select a Lucky Dip and then you will email her or in the comments below when you go to purchase it. Basically, you can list your likes and your dislikes. So there's certain colours you don't like, certain patterns, prints, um, you know, certain sayings. Maybe you prefer more paper than you would prefer, you know, stickers, or maybe you don't like washi tape. You kind of get what I'm saying. So it's a really nice way to customise what you get, but it's still got an element of surprise to it. So I gave Louise my likes and dislikes, it was mainly more likes than dislikes to be fair, um, and she put this together for me. Now this cost £20, um, but there's around £25 or more in value in inside there. Now the thing that I love about Louise and what she has on offer on her website is that most of the product is from outside of the UK. There's a lot of European companies on there, there's a lot of you know companies from the States, Australian. She has a real nice mix, um, so I do encourage you to go over and have a look. I know some of you already have after I shared the Minte paper pack on my last What Did I Get video, and um, those papers are gorgeous and they're from a company in Poland so it's a really nice way to kind of see what else is out there. Anyway, that's just a little overview. This is what Louise sent me. So I've got the washi tape, I've got these really nice, um, they're not enamel, they're kind of a little bit softer, um, but these are these kind of gold hearts, really nice, love those. Um, there's a word for it I'm trying to think of, but I still don't know what it is. And then I've got these, I love these, these are by American Crafts and um, they're really funny look at the tag on the back with the the llama and stuff so i love that and they're definitely going to get used on cards and also on scrapbook layouts that yay definitely going to get used then you've got the vicky boot in this is the sticker pack you get 102 so you've got the front and back perfect for your planners scrapbooks and for card making and then papers so the papers are all single sheets from different companies and um, she's gone around and i think she's nailed it in terms of what i like um, got these really fun pineapples here and then this leaf design and this one here is by Paradise Found so it's Paper House Productions by Rene or Rene Looney. This is this floral print here this is by Simple Stories love and adore and I really do adore it I think it's gorgeous and really nice to fussy cut as well so and then on the back you get the hearts there then with this one here I've got them upside down I love these two oh my gosh and straight away you know that they are prima so they've got this gorgeous kind of holographic foil running through the middle or not the middle but just dotted around there this is the prima flirty fleur collection something floral this ind individual one here and then you just got that kind of it's almost like it's stamped like ink um like lines it reminds me of like old kind of stationary the ink sheets that you used to get anyway that's what that looks like and then here this is another prima marketing gorgeous absolutely stunning and this is the havana collection scented notes is this particular one here um, and again you've got that lovely print on this one on the back this one i love 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 my bright life by jean hadfield homemade just love that print it's really really fun and then you just got the green polka dots on that side and then these ones here so you've got these really cool milkshakes that's a pink paisley pie page evans that's picked me up this one here is definitely got fussy cutting written all over it which is what i will be doing and this is by one canoe two and it's hazelwood and this particular one is flock and then you just got like a chevron kind of effect on the back and then this one here is another nice pink background but look at that on the top oh love it another page Evans pick me up um, sheet there so really again beautiful papers so thank you Louise you've nailed those they are awesome so I've got one two three four five six seven eight pieces there so that's potentially eight scrapbook layouts so yeah lots and lots there but this is my favorite this is brilliant and this is why i love the whole pick a mix um i keep saying pick a mix lucky dip is you just don't know what's going to be in it but you know it's going to be something you love if you've already kind of you know stressed your likes and dislikes this here is by Paige Evans for Pink Paisley again this is the pick me up but it's an acetate 12 by 12 sheet and just look at that that is just stunning 
that gold foiling, that beautiful floral pattern just going all the way around the outside. So this is 12 by 12 and this is the project that I'm going to show you today because this here I wanted to be on display, I wanted to be able to see it, I just think it's beautiful. So what I've done is I've gone to Hobbycraft and they've got a sale on at the moment and I found this shadow box frame. Now I have purchased their larger frames before, sometimes I've had to pay full price, sometimes they've been obviously in the sale. This was in the sale and this was £5.50 which I thought was really really good value. So I just got the plain white because that will obviously match and go with anything. Now it fits these papers perfectly, I did go ahead and try it. So what I'm going to do is take the backing off here and just so you can see just how great this is going to look, let's remove that piece there. Okay so that is going to sit in there like so. Once everything's in place it will stay there but if I just bring this over once the white's on the background but it looks like it's actually on the glass. It just looks brilliant you can see me in there. Hello. <laughs> um, it just looks like it's on the glass it looks absolutely brilliant. So what I want to do is I want to have a saying on this. Now the saying that my mum has always said and that I've slowly over the years stolen from her <laughs> is this room hugs me. So I went ahead on my Cricut and I have found a font that I think will work and I've done this. Now you'll get to see what a Cricut mat looks like um, from somebody who is new to using a Cricut machine because yeah just look at it even here I uh, <laughs> don't know what went wrong but I started writing on the top of my mat and then um, yeah had to rub that off and uh, that's what happened. Anyway I will be, once I'm completely happy and confident with the Cricut machine, then I'll buy a new mat. But what I've gone and done is I have found a font. So I've got these um, letter tiles. It's like that Scrabble effect. And I've just done this room hugs me, which you can kind of see there. Now I haven't lifted it off yet because I thought I'd do that here. So I'm going to roll off the back here. And that is cut perfectly. And I thought I'd go for the gold, and once I move it around, but I think that's going to work really nice. Now I'm going to be sticking it onto just this plain white piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. So I'm going to probably, whether these will come off if I just do it, actually I can just pick these off because the middle's, oh perfect, that's what I was hoping would happen, that the middle will stick down. So I'm just going to peel all of these off here. You can buy the transfer um, sheets where you stick it on the top, it will lift it off perfectly for you to then retransfer. But I'm going to move this around anyway, so I wasn't too worried. But I do still have it there as well. But because it's in lots of little pieces, well, to be fair, it's not. Yeah, the U's in two pieces and the S, I probably will end up just losing it and not use that. But that's an idea anyway. You've got that there if you want to. So, because the image is slightly different, is it on each side? No, each side is the same but reversed. So I'm going to have it that way. So that's the top, this is the bottom. So I'm going to just roughly see, first of all, how this is going to fit. I should have kept them in order. Now I've got them all mumbled up right at the start from the beginning. So we're going to have this room hugs me. Now you imagine that's going to be set back and this is obviously going to be forward but I just wanted to check it is going to fit where I want it to be so I'm pretty happy with that. I want to make sure I've got them all equally spaced apart. Now because obviously they're equal squares really you just want to make sure that you get that all nice and lined up and then the me just sits down there. But I think this is going to look really nice. So now I need to move this all off onto here and kind of get that as centred as possible. And also another thing I've just noticed, if you flip it over, look at the different colour you get there. I mean, you don't get the foiling coming through as much, but it's all like rose gold now and those kind of blues, but I love this one. I'm just going to lay that on there now. I've nearly got it where I want it to be, so I just need to pull it down a little bit without the static on it there. There we go. I think that is pretty good. So now I'm going to obviously spend more time making sure they're exactly lined up. But in terms of the area that it needs to be is here. So I've just got, I'm starting to trial out a few other glues and one that I'm enjoying at the moment is this one here which is by Dawn Bibby Creations. It's um, supplied by Craft Buddy and um, yeah you've got the little precision nib there and everything. So I am going to, I feel though it should be lifted up just ever so slightly because no it can't because of that leaf there. 
no, I still think it's going to be okay. Okay, so I'm going to start sticking this all down. Okay, so I'm really pleased with that. Without using a ruler, I think I've got that pretty, you know, centred and lined up and equal spacing and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so that's that piece. Now I'm going to grab my frame. Okay, so I've just put everything in there and you can see here this moves around and it just will literally come out of that section and I need it to stay in there. So with this wooden piece already in place, I'm going to grab my thin red tape and I'm going to run on top of the glass, very thin strip. But I don't even need to do it on all the way around. I'm just going to do it on two sides because it's only very light acetate and it just needs to be kind of held in place there. But I don't want this tape obviously coming through um, so you can see it, I want it all hidden. So just, and the good thing is with this is I can change it if I need to at a later point. You know, I decide I want to have a different saying in there, but I don't think I'm going to get bored of that beautiful frame, floral print frame. Okay, so just take off the backing there. Now, usually you would have, if you've got something that's a little bit bigger, this wooden piece that kind of keeps the glass and the backing sep separated, um, that would be enough to stop whatever it is you're putting in there falling through, but this is exactly the size of this inner wooden frame. That's why I've just got to add this little bit of sticky to it. So you want to make sure now that you've got no kind of bits on here. I'm just going to give this a wipe. I'll just give the glass a little wipe. I mean, it's brand new, so it should be fine. Okay, so then I can stick this to one side there, like so. So that is tacked in place now. I'm just going to wipe the back side. Because now that's stuck against the glass, I can't get to it unless I obviously peel it all off. So now when I flip it over, it just looks like it's part of the glass. It's absolutely stunning. It really does look like that's painted on the glass. I just love this. So now this piece here, so I want to make sure I've got it in the right way. I think that was where I had it. Or was it that way? I think it was that way. Let's have a little play. Now this piece needs to be stuck on here. And all I'm going to do is just run a couple of strips of tape there. You want to make sure you get an equal frame. Okay, I need to um, cover this a little bit more because of the... Um, you can actually see a little bit of this brown. So what I'm going to do is I've got this really lovely gold washi tape which I've used before. So I'm going to... It probably won't stick to that or it won't stay there. So I'm going to run some of this red tape around here. This will actually be a nice little um, kind of extra detail really because you'll see a little bit of gold frame inside. So it was just a little bit of the brown is poking through which I don't like obviously. So I'm just gonna pop this frame around it. There we go, so that's now got a nice foiled frame. So now when I pop it in here, it should Perfect, it's completely covered and you can just see a little bit of the gold poking through underneath there. I mean, to be honest, you can't really pick it up that much in here, but it's just me being picky. But I just love that. The quickest, easiest piece of home decor. And just seal the back there. It's easy to change if I need to and you can really appreciate now. So it's nice, you can see how it's set back. But this room hugs me. Can't get it all in. There we go. Gorgeous. So it was just really to give you some inspiration. Um, you know, I'm using my Cricut more and more, baby steps. <laughs> but um, I really did want to show off the wonderful piece of acetate there that Louise sent me. How you can obviously get hold of yours as well if you want to get that same um, piece. I'll see if it's available and share the links below for you because I'm sure you might be able to buy it um, on its own. But do go and check out the Lucky Dip and have a little look around Louise's um, shop as well online and send her a message. She's on Facebook as well, Thompson's Craft Supplies. Again, all those links will be shared below. But I'm now going to go and hang this up and enjoy it. So thanks for watching and I'll be back again soon. Bye.